Coming up in today's episode, PewDiePie's missing 50 million subscriber play button has finally been found. And largest YouTube creator Mr. Beast wants me to buy his diamond play button. All this and more coming up in today's episode of YouTube News. And now for our first story, T-Series, India's largest music label, and coincidentally the largest YouTube channel on YouTube, have received a 200 million subscriber play button. Here's a picture of the award, as you can see it's got a large red gem on the top of it. It's not particularly in keeping with the 10 million and 100 million subscriber play buttons, but I guess there's no harm in mixing it up a bit. There's also been no videos released showing this play button, all we have is this photo from the Society Awards website, which means we do not know if this 200 million subscriber play button is this big or if it's this big. But Mr. Beast is on track for 200 million this year, so hopefully we'll get a better look at a 200 million subscriber play button in the future. Another large Indian YouTube channel, Age Tack, got a 50 million subscriber play button, which is a much more traditional trophy style award. And media conglomerate Marvel got a custom 20 million subscriber play button in the style of the Marvel Tower. This is a very cool looking YouTube award, however it has led to some drama in the YouTube space. Creators Dan DDM, Jacksepticeye and Matt Pat all all made YouTube shorts complaining about themselves not being sent a 20 million award from YouTube even though they all hit 20 million subscribers ages ago. Where's mine bro? I don't have one. There's a huge problem with that. And now moving on to our top story. PewDiePie's 50 million subscriber Ruby Brofist play button has been found after six years. The award was last seen in this video on the PewDiePie channel destroying my 50 million award and since then many people including myself have been wondering did Felix keep this award? Or did he chuck it out at the same time he got rid of his diamond play button and his 100 million subscriber briefcase? Well, YouTuber Stanley Foss released this video called Lost PewDiePie Award Found, in which he states his friend Isaiah found this award on eBay and he purchased it for a few hundred dollars. Isaiah is a massive PewDiePie fan and when he bought the award, he didn't think it was the real thing because it was listed as a replica. But when it arrived, it looked really good. It looked exactly the same as it did in Felix's original unboxing. And most importantly, on the bottom of the award, was a Society Awards sticker which looked exactly like this. The same kind of sticker that features on all precious YouTube awards. Stanley and Isaiah obviously wanted to investigate this further, so using the code that was on the sticker, they decided to call Society Awards. Society Awards, for privacy reasons, weren't able to give out any kind of specifics, but they did say this. All we can verify is that it is a real label and it has been shipped overseas appropriate This means that even though we cannot currently guarantee it is the original 50 million award, we do know it was made by the same manufacturers and it was shipped overseas. For example, shipped from their factory in New York to Brighton in the UK where PewDiePie was living at the time. As I also managed to track down the original eBay seller who said that he found the award in a bin in the Brighton area, which is the exact same story as the diamond play button that was found in a bin and then sold on eBay for $400 back in 2020. And also so this briefcase that I bought that once housed the PewDiePie 100 million play button. Now unfortunately there is one pretty big reason why this might not actually be the 50 million award. If you take a look at this award in great detail, you might notice that the text on the front of the award is missing. And if we take a look at PewDiePie's original unboxing, it very clearly says PewDiePie, 50 million subscribers, YouTube. Now, Isaiah claims that he has found old screenshots of PewDiePie accidentally wiping this text off. But that sounds a bit weird. You wouldn't think that you could accidentally wipe this text off, but maybe that did happen. Either way, Isaiah and Stanley's channels will be in the description if you want to investigate this further. Our next story, I bought a new fridge. It's a really nice fridge to be it's got a freezer compartment, which beautifully looks after my don't subscribe cupcake from two years ago. However, it was rather expensive, and that's why when I was buying it, I was very relieved when Honey popped up and told me they'd automatically found me five coupon codes, which might save me a bit of money. So of course, I clicked apply coupons, Honey automatically started trying each one, and before you know it, I'd saved extra 15 quid, and all I had to do was click one button. A huge thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video and always supporting the Jack Sucks at Life YouTube channel. You can get Honey for free and install it with just two clicks by heading to joinhoney.com slash Jack. There's literally no reason not to. Why would you not want to have something that might save you a bit of money when you're online shopping? Moving on to our next story. Now, this one's a good one. You may have seen at the end of last year, Mr. Beast updated his YouTube channel saying that he was giving away his diamond play button to a random subscriber. Now, the random subscriber that was chosen was a fella called Daw on Tour. Daw makes football videos primarily about Nottingham Forest. Now, what's kind of crazy is that this YouTube play button could have been given to anyone in the world. However, the channel that was chosen just so happens 
happens to live about half an hour up the road from me. <laughs> it's like the diamond play button was calling for me. Now we're gonna go ahead and watch Doors unboxing because something rather interesting happens. All right, here we go. So he's been filmed with his nieces and his nephews. There's the award. It's got its little wrapping around it. Cool. However, what's very exciting is that Mr. Beast actually signed this award, but it gets even better. So he's taken it out of the wrapping, and as we can see, Mr. Beast has signed the play button, but that's not all. It's quite hard to see, but that text at the bottom says, I bet Jack buys this lol. <laughs> And we also have this picture of Jimmy actually writing this as well. Now, when I watched this video and saw that text, I did kind of go a bit mental. However, later in the video, Dor says this. Let me call you Jack. You don't find this. It's mine. Which is completely fair enough. I'm not the competition winner. If Dor doesn't want to sell me this play button, he has no obligation to do so. I did obviously make him an offer though, but he said no, it wasn't enough money. And then I have some very heartbreaking news. Unfortunately... His niece has rubbed my name off. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> this makes perfect sense. My channel is not remotely relevant to Dor and Dor's nieces and nephews. They do not care about me, so why would they want my dirty little name written on their fancy award? But it does make me a little bit sad because seeing as he only lived up the road, I would have loved to just borrow it for like an hour so I could make a little video and take a photo with my little name written there. But alas, it did not happen Oh well. I did, however, get a message message from Dor about a month ago and he suggested maybe he did want to sell it to me after all however I've not received any further updates since oh hold on I'm getting reports of some breaking news apparently the video is not at eight minutes yet that means it's time for five quick bonus stories YouTube co-founder Javid who's also the creator of the first YouTube video me at the zoo has changed his profile picture for the first time in 17 years previously he's just had the default green J but then the other day he randomly changed it to a still from me at the zoo. And if that wasn't enough, he also added his first ever YouTube banner and it's just a picture of some elephants from the zoo. No one quite knows if this was Javid himself logging back into his old account or if it was YouTube doing it to spice up the first YouTube video. Who knows? Our next story, Linus Tech Tips, a tech channel with over 15 million subscribers, was hacked. Their name was randomly changed and they started live streaming Bitcoin scams. Linus's channel lost 100,000 subscribers when this happened, but the channel was restored about 24 hours later and those 100,000 subscribers came back. And now for a light-hearted human interest story. You may remember a few months ago, I received a custom award to celebrate 1 billion total upload views. Well, it turns out by pure coincidence, there is a giant version of this award in Winnipeg, Canada. I started receiving many pictures of subscribers who had traveled to the Polo Park Mall to get a photo of themselves in front of the giant 1 bill award. And now our final story of YouTube news. The Jack Sucks Alive YouTube channel is very close to 3 million subscribers. So if you want to see more videos like this, please click that button. Check your subscribe. It's completely free. Thank you very much for watching the first edition of YouTube News. I've been your host, Jack Massey Welsh, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs>